What's up YouTube, how you doing? This is Mr. Tyrebox123 and in this video I'm going to be bringing you my full review of this, the VO X-Lapse. Welcome guys, and you're probably thinking to yourselves, why on earth have I got this English guy on my screen? Where is Sebastian? Where is Tech Century? And basically, Sebastian, who is a very, very good friend of mine, has kindly let me do a guest review here on his channel. So thank you very much to Sebastian, and thank you to you guys who are watching as well. You can find all the links to my details down in the description below. Now, the product that I've actually got here for you today is one by Vio. They do a whole range of fantastic little gadgets and products on their website. I'll leave a link again down to that in the description below. And this one that I've got here today, like I said, is the VO Movie X-Lapse. Now, this is a fantastic little product. The main aim of this product is to be able to take full 360 degree time-lapse videos. Now the product itself in terms of price, you can pick this up in the US from Amazon.com for about $40 or here in the UK from Amazon.co.uk for about £30. Now I'll just give you a little tour around the product itself, very very nice build quality made out of a kind of black matte material and then on the top we've got this little clip which actually enables us to use this with smartphones or anything that doesn't have a tripod mount. On the bottom of the X-Lapse, we've got a little rotating unit that enables us to actually set the time period that we want to do the full 360 degree time-lapse for. And as you could hear there, it's also got a bell as well. So once the time-lapse has actually finished, it tells you all about it. Now you can set the time from anything from zero to 60 minutes, and it will just work its way around that 360 degrees during that time period if you set it to the full hour. If you set it to less than an hour, it will just work its way around the portion that you've actually set it to. Now, one of the fantastic things about this product is the little clip at the top of it. You can actually remove this fully just by unscrewing it. And then on top of there is a normal little mount that you can actually place pretty much any camcorder, camera, or even DSLR on the top of it. With the clip, you can actually use it with a smartphone. So it's very flexible in terms of the ways that you can actually take the photos. Now essentially what you do is, once you've actually decided which camera you're gonna put onto the top of it, you place that in the clip or screw it onto the mount. And once that's securely in place, you just rotate it to the correct time period and then it will just tick its way down until it's at the end, working its way around in a circle as it goes. Now, the question is, how do you actually go about taking the timed photos? Well, built into most cameras now, they have their own time delay photo settings. So if you've got a DSLR, for example, you can just simply set that up to take a photo maybe every 30 seconds or so. If you've got a smartphone, there's a whole bunch of applications out there like this one that I'm showing you now. Some of them are free with ad support. Some of them cost a little bit of money, but over and all, very, very cheap. Now, inside these smartphone applications, you can simply set the time period between the photos that you want to be taken, and then right at the end of the entire period of duration that it's turning around either a part of a circle or the full 360 degrees, you can simply take all those photos, bring them into something like iMovie or Final Cut Pro, or in the smartphone application, it actually renders the video themselves, and then you end up with a very, very nice rendered time-lapse video at the end of it. And I'll just give you a quick demonstration of one that I knocked up on the HTC One using a free application here. Anyway guys, I think this is an absolutely fantastic little product for the price. You can have some great fun with it, very, very cheap. You can also use it with your smartphone, which is great, and you can go out and create yourself some really nice effects on your little movies. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching. Please do hit that like button for me. Thank you very much to Seb, and I will see you all in the next one.